So I started at the Post. I was a, I was a multimedia editor. Um, that's how I started at the Post. And I um, we had a video camera. And it was literally that simple. There was a video camera there. Um, I I knew I could I knew I could do it. And we were using it. We were using it for some. It was an advertising product. We were using the videos for. Um, and I knew we could use it as an editorial product. Um, so it literally was as simple as just it being there in the room and, and picking it up and learning how to use it. So. And also and, and also I think part of that it's you know I was an editor. And so the video camera is also a way to like get the hell out of the office, to be honest. You know, which is don't discount that <laughs> <laughs> that motivation. Yeah. But, but what about from graduate school to the post? What was your path? Was that your first job out of school? Um, more or less. I interned at a couple places as a still photographer. I worked in Budapest as a still photographer. I freelanced as a still photographer. Um, but I was always interested in multimedia. I was recording sound, you know, with stills and. The program in Missouri is very writing heavy, so I always I wrote articles as well, which was important. We'll see as an important part of video. Mm -hmm. um, but no, I didn't have any interest in all video. It was purely, uh, purely as a post. And it was, you know, the timing was was right for me. It was a time of great expansion, and they were throwing money at it, and, and in a place where they really cultivated talent and gave you the, the time and the space that you needed. I mean. You know, it would be tough. Think about, you know, at a, at a network, if someone was coming in, you know, I started when I was 24 at the Post in 1999. You know, and by 27, I was doing, you know, Iraq, Afghanistan, traveling all over. So I'm not sure. It's probably possible at the network. But I think it's probably, at least at that time, it was probably more possible than a newspaper. 